There is still a tornado watch out for Anderson County, but that's it. The rest of North Texas is cleared for the tornado watch because the storms are off to the east. Still some good activity in the southern half of Anderson County. This is a severe thunderstorm right at the county line. It is passing off to the east rather quickly. The flash flood watch, by the way, is also lifted for North Texas. But the weather threat is not done. First, let's talk about the day. Not only did we have tornadoes, we had a lot of rain. 64 degrees at the airport, over two inches. Of rain. More on that in a second. But the high today was only 66 degrees. Now, it might have got warmer here in the last hour, but this is well below average. And if that's 66 holes, that's the coldest day since April 21st. Yesterday's high was 67. Now, over two inches of rain for the second time in four days, a record amount of rain for the day. Six inches so far this month, and we've had almost 19 inches so far, so far this fall. So we're very close to having the wettest fall on record, or at least the second wettest fall on record. You can see future sky forecast shows in the overnight hours, not a lot of activity. We'll wake up with some patchy fog around. There will be some clouds down to the south. As we get into the afternoon hours, here comes another cold front, and this one is much stronger. It's going to bring some rain and thunderstorms through the metroplex as we get into the evening hours. And behind it, in the much colder air, we're going to have a long fuse rain event that's probably going to go on for two days. It'll be a wet morning commute, very cold with temperatures in the 40s. But there is a risk of severe weather tomorrow afternoon and evening with that front coming through. It looks like the higher risk will be across our southern counties, but it does include the metroplex, at least where you see this yellow category. That's a category two, the risk of scattered severe weather. It looks like damaging winds, golf ball size hail. And of course, we will turn to the risk of isolated flash flooding. In fact, about that flooding, when we take a look at how much rain we expect over the next couple of days, we could have around a heavy rain tomorrow night. But on Monday and Tuesday, it's going to rain. And look at some of these rainfall totals being estimated as high as six inches in Tarrant County. Then there's the talk of the temperatures. Now, we've been talking about this. That we're going to have a cold front move through here, and with doing so, it is going to bring the temperatures from the upper 70s, where we'll be tomorrow, some areas even 80s tomorrow afternoon. By the time we get to Monday morning, we're into the 40s, and I'm afraid the daytime high will probably stay in the 40s. It's never been this cold this early in fall ever, and we're going to have two days in a row of days like this where daytime highs are in the 40s. And look at these rain chances at 80% across that whole period. In fact, the rain doesn't really let up until we get into the overnight hours. Then scatter stuff on Wednesday and Thursday. We start to recover with temperatures. Then the next rain chance comes in on Saturday, late Friday, and into Saturday. But it doesn't look like next weekend will be as wet as the last couple of weekends have been.